was in the thrift store and I was at the clothing rack and literally it was like an entire rack of like 90s rap tees. Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dukes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. Recording? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Over the Years. My name is Tim. I'm a full-time reseller on six platforms. That's eBay, Etsy, Macari, Poshmark, Depop, and Grailed. Ma Dukes is here behind the camera. Shout yep. out Ma Dukes. Thank you. Um, so I'm pretty sure everybody has had a thrift store dream before. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, last night, so I've had like the, the thrift store dream is is okay, you you have a dream that you find some sort of grailed item at a at a thrift store. So like with Pyrex, I always had this dream. That I could find the Lucky and Love Pyrex. For those of you that don't know Lucky and Love Pyrex, it's basically one of the holy grails of Pyrex. It sells for anywhere, the one dish sells anywhere between four and nine thousand dollars. And then last night I had a crazy dream that I was in the thrift store and I was at the clothing rack, and literally it was like an entire rack of like 90s rap tees. And I was just like flipping through it and I was like looking around because like I felt in the dream, I felt like I was like being punk. Like I was like, this can't be real. Like I'm like, like, you know, this doesn't make any sense. It's literally like 400 shirts that are like $400 shirts a piece. Like it was insane. So this morning I was like, all right, I'm going to go to the thrift store. I did not find the Pyrex and Love Pyrex and I did not find 400 <laughs> Um, rap t-shirts Rap tees from the 90s But I did find some cool pieces A couple t-shirts and some Pyrex And some uranium glass I'm going to go ahead and show you guys What I found So I'll start with uh, this It's Marigold Carnival glass uh, It's maybe a creamer Maybe a pitcher I'm not exactly sure of the pattern it's yet It's a little big for a creamer It is but some of the Carnival glass creamers Were that big it's just a little small for a picture, too. That's true. So, like, that's why I'm not 100% sure. And I'm not sure if the pattern is, if it's Imperial glass or Jeanette glass. But it is very pretty. And it was a good price, too. So then, Uranium glass. So, they had, they had the sugar and the creamer, and they had two creamers. But they had the two creamers priced as a pair, and the sh the creamer. Oh, what did I say? Sugar. The two sugars priced oh, priced as a pair, pair, and the creamer priced individually. So I was like, I want the creamer and the sugar, so I had to get both sugars. <laughs> so I got two sugars and one creamer. This is Anchor Hawking Block Optic. Um, really cool pattern, and they're in fabulous condition. No issues whatsoever, and they do glow under the black light. And also picked up this awesome bad boy. This is Vaseline glass. So for those of you that always want to know the difference between uranium glass and Vaseline glass, technically anything that has uranium in it and glows is uranium glass. But pure collectors, Vaseline glass is the yellow shade as opposed to the green shade because it looks like Vaseline back in the day. So this is a daisy and button, Vaseline glass, uranium glass, cat head shoe slipper. Has a small little flake on the base down there, but it is fabulous and it glows beautiful. Now, this does not glow, but it is a really pretty green glass. Um, I forget the name of this pattern, but it is made by Viking Glass. It actually still has the sticker on it still. It is missing its actual bell, um, but that can't be replaced. And I mean, most people are using it for decor purpose anyways. I'm not, I don't really need it. Yeah, we're going to need a dinner. Yeah, so, but that's a beautiful piece. That's going to clean up really nice. Then we also picked up this piece, which I'd never seen before. It is also a daisy and button pattern, and it is a footed three-slot ashtray. It almost 
does look a little off white, right? It's not I don't pink. Think it's not pink. It's a like a blush. I don't know what it is. We'll see when it cleans up. Yeah, it could be just be. It could just be covered with something. Yeah, but like under the light, it does have a kind of like a a beigey look to it. Yeah, very interesting. I've never seen that piece before. I also picked this up, which was super awesome. If you guys know us, we're big fans of Balik. Uh, this is Balik, and it is a clock. And it has the marking down here on the bottom. Once again, I'm going to have to date that marking. I'm pretty sure it's fairly new, but it is awesome. I don't know if it had a back cover or not. I don't think so. Doubt it. Yeah. No, I don't know. It might have, but it's gone. That happens so often, especially if they're little like that. This isn't that little. Though. This is no, nice... I meant the, the, oh, whole, the, the, back. the slot on yeah. the back. But it is super nice. So I'm excited about that. A lot of this stuff will be um, available in our live vintage sale, which is every Monday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we also have a live preview show every... Can you share the t-shirts? I am. I'm just... Oh, okay. I thought you were just putting that in the, in the middle. middle. <laughs> our live preview shows every Monday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you've made it this far in the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. All right. So Pyrex. First up... We got the whole Cinderella mixing bowl set of Spring Blossom, also known as Crazy Daisy. So I would typically not pick this up. This pattern is not as valuable as some of the other patterns. Um, so it has to be really cheap for me to pick up. But because it was a set and it was in, in pretty good condition, I went ahead and picked up the entire set. So you have the smallest bowl, which I think is 441. Then you have the next size up, which is the 442. And you can see they're in really good condition. And then the one after that is the 443. Now I'm gonna have to look closely at this because some there is two versions of the Pyrex Spring Blossom Crazy Daisy. There's a one and a two, but I'm pretty sure these are all the right pattern. And then the largest bowl, the 444. So I paid $16 for the entire set, I believe. Um, and it should sell somewhere between $75 and $100. So Typically, I don't like to sell them by the sets because packing them can be a pain in the butt. But this circumstance calls for uh, selling it as a set. Uh, and I think it'll be a nice return. And it's just in really good condition. Now, this one is... This is definitely like one of the nicer Pyrex pieces you could find in the wild. What's that pattern? This is Pyrex Gooseberry. Oh. And this is in the pink pattern. Um, it does have a little bit of wear on the handle tab. Uh, it looks like somebody made pancakes in it and yeah. donated it and said, hey. <laughs> uh, there's some minor scratches, but uh, if you guys haven't seen our video on how to clean Pyrex, I'll put a link right here up top and it'll show you guys how to clean Pyrex from beginning to end. It's actually our most popular video on our YouTube channel. Um, so we will clean this bad boy up. And as far as pricing goes, I'm not 100% sure, really. I'll have to see it once it's completely cleaned. Um, if it was in, like, perfect condition, I mean, maybe, like, 75 bucks. But I think I'll probably ask somewhere around 40 or $50 for it. Uh, we'll see once it's cleaned, and I'll check out the market value. Because this is one of the more sought-after patterns, for sure. Now, as far as shirts go, I did pick up two shirts. Not wrap tees, but awesome shirts. Mm. Check out this bad boy. Motown, New York. Motown Cafe, New York. Um, and it is made in the USA. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Whoops. Got it? I don't know. I don't have my glasses on. So <laughs> made in the USA tag, and it is single-stitched. Single so that's a really cool shirt. And it's a nice size too. I think it's extra large. Yeah, extra large. That is now this is something that was difficult for me to like I would I would maybe keep this. I'd rock that. I'd rock it too. <laughs> but we'll see. Um and then the second shirt I got 
is Las Vegas shirt, and that's a sick color. graphic on there. Sick graphic, great color. Yeah, and this is also single stitch. And then if you look closely on the graphic, you can see it is dated 1995. Mm. Uh, single stitch, and it is also made in the USA. So when you're looking for vintage t-shirts, those are some of the things you want to look for. You want to look for single stitch. You want to look for made in the USA. You want to look for sick graphics, stuff like that. So that is everything I picked up at the thrift store this morning. So it wasn't quite the thrift store Not dream. Not the dream come true. Yeah, but, but it was a nice little uh, surprise. I mean, just to find this bowl is fantastic, obviously. Um, I wish it was in the perfect condition, but look, I'm not going to be, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And we found some cool stuff that we can offer at our live sale. So I'm pretty excited about that. And a Pyrex set. I mean, when I first started buying Pyrex, like that was my main thing. I was like, I got to complete the set and sell it as a set. I used to just have Pyrex bowls just like... The, all over the place. No matter what condition they were in, yeah, too. So it, it's interesting to kind of see how I've come along as far as Pyrex goes. Uh, so thank you guys, as always, for checking us out. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we're going to keep trying to grow this channel. We're going to keep trying to give you guys consistent content. So hopefully we'll have another video coming out in a few days. Uh, I'm going to try and hit some garage sales and yard sales this weekend. Uh, weather permitting, obviously. So... I'll keep you guys posted on that. Thank you, as always. YouTube, stay classy. Peace. Peace.